Now, before we get into the next episode where we talk about how to create a navigation at the top of the website, there is one thing that I would like to change about our website that a subscriber has asked me to do uh, because it is something that can get a little bit strenuous on the eyes. And I've thought the same thing ever since the first episode, but I was kind of like, when should I do that in this course here? Uh, let's do it now, which is essentially when we go inside our browser, you can see that everything is white <laughs> and it's just kind of like it's burning our eyes out when we look at it you may have noticed that it's become a thing even inside the browser you can see that we have this like dark color up here if i go inside my editor it's dark mode if you go to youtube there's also a setting to change the entire youtube website to dark mode it's just kind of like become a thing over time to make things dark mode because it doesn't hurt your eyes over a period of time. So even though some people prefer to look at a white color because it's something they recognize and it's something they've seen in the past and this, it's just kind of like how they like things. Um, dark mode is something that I think is a good idea we add into the website here just because it, it gets a little bit strenuous <laughs> over time. So what I wanna do is essentially, I just want to change the background color of my entire website. And you can do this in any kind of color you want. I just wanna show you how to do it so you know how to do it in the future. So when it comes to changing the background color, you might be asking, how do we do that? Do we target the HTML tag or what do we do here? Um, when you want to change the actual background of an entire website, it is actually the body tag that we want to change. Because remember, inside our little file over here, we have the head tag, which is basically all the meta information and all the stuff that we don't see inside the browser. And then we do also have the body tag, which is all the content we do see inside the browser. So we do go inside our CSS file and we say that we want to style the body tag. And then we can actually go in here and say we want to change a background color. And by doing this, we can actually go ahead and choose any kind of color. Some people like to go all the way black, which is actually hashtag zero, zero, zero. Um, but to me personally, the, the complete black color is just a little bit too, it's too hard of a color when it comes to, to black colors inside your website. So I usually like to pick something that is a very dark gray. So what I can do either using Photoshop or any other kind of website like color.adobe.com, which I did share in a previous video, you can just kind of pick a darker uh, grayish color rather than the complete black one. Uh, you could also just go inside the color picker here, which will actually in most cases change it to RGB. So as you can see, it's RGB. But if you click up here, it'll actually change it back and forth to all the different uh, color modes you can actually insert inside your uh, inside your CSS here. So in this case here, just because we're familiar with it, let's go ahead and stick to hex colors, which is the hashtag and then six numbers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit darker. So let's something like 1E, 1E, 1E. And then I can actually go ahead and save that, go inside my website, refresh it. And now I'll see that we have a more pleasant <laughs> color to look at. So it's not like in our face when we open up the website. So this is how we can change the background color. And now that you know this, we're actually ready to make a navigation in the next video because we will actually uh, learn how to create this little white navigation at the top. And if you put a white navigation on a white background, then we can't really see the navigation because it's, it's blending in, so to speak. Uh, so having a darker background is gonna allow for us to actually see the navigation. So with that, this was a short episode. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.